आई एम नाउ रियलाइजिंग हाउ एम्बेसिंग इट इज गुड शेयर द वीडियोज टू माई रिलेटिव back to my youtube channel for today's video i am here with a story time this is going to be my first ever story time video on this channel i have been watching so many like haunted story times but unfortunately anything paranormal has never happened with me that would i hope it never happens but i do have a very interesting story time which is how i started my youtube channel because i honestly struggled a lot to be here so back to 2020 it was holy and we were basically cooking stuff like making things for holy sweet dishes matri and all one day when my mom was cooking i just started filming and my mom joined <laughs> i don't know how so i filmed that video posted i randomly posted a video having no idea about the terms and conditions of youtube no editing skills no thumbnail just posted it right away that video had three parts because every time i would stop i would have to continue another clip and i did not know how to join the clip so that video had three parts and during lockdown me and my mother started cooking a lot like different dishes we thought we'll just make a cooking channel out of it so i made a cooking channel it was called ma beti cooks this channel was actually ma beti cooks you will not find the videos though this channel has been through a lot i didn't delete a channel and then continued a new one i just kept changing names reposting videos posting new videos deleting old videos that was the freaking process so when the lockdown was over when like everything started opening up we stopped cooking and we were like what do we post now actually my mother was like ab nahi banate hain kuch bhi let's stop now but i was like no i am very passionate about this i'll make stuff and during like while posting cooking videos i learned a little bit of editing like joining clips adding music and for the thumbnail i just made a collage and wrote the title of the video so then i started vlogging At that time sorv joshi blew up i had a collage here this i have a collage of my old thumbnails i would do like my skin care routine my birthday vlog my dad's birthday not talking about my views i <laughs> this is the biggest mistake i have done for my channel never do this okay i shared my videos with my friends we had a class group and i would share my video link there every time i would post without realizing how embarrassing it would be coming up i'm now realizing how embarrassing it is <laughs> and not just that i would share the videos to my relatives i would i would post the video on my status like i would put the link on my status and only my relatives only my relatives and a few weird classmates would watch my videos every time i would get like views above like 40 i would be so freaking happy i'm like whoa my channel is doing so good then i started using youtube studio all i use youtube studio was for my thumbnails like putting my thumbnails on my videos and i see 100% of the viewers are from whatsapp and i'm getting no viewers from youtube like my video has like zero reach that's why my channel didn't grow for like a year and a half The first editing software I used was Vlogstar. Anyways, I made vlogs. I was like kind of concerned that my views are kind of messed up because only my relatives are watching my videos. But I kept doing the same thing. Then fast forward like a few months, I realized that it is concerning and my channel is not gonna grow. At that time, I had like maybe fifty subscribers. I use like the music that the apps provide so they're not really copyright free or something so I started getting copyright claims on every single of my videos concerned I thought it was copyright strike but it was just a copyright claim which like does not really matter but they are telling you you're doing something wrong it's not very it's not really a very big thing so i panicked i was like what do i do what do i do i posted another video i saw copyright claim i didn't know how to see what was wrong or what was happening 
I did not know how to see like what is causing the copyright claim because I did not have any idea how to use YouTube Studio that time. So I panicked and deleted all my videos. Then I started again, started making vlogs, learned a little bit about this copyright stuff and all. In my first video, I did like a Q&A. I was like, I know the subscribers are wondering where all my old videos are. Like no one is wondering. I started vlogging again and I posted a lot because uh, schools were not open that time. Then a few months later, I was like, now I'm not going to share my videos. I want my channel to grow. So I stopped sharing videos to WhatsApp and I would get 10 views max on a video. I was very concerned, but so I started sharing links again. Now I don't share links and I don't care if my like relatives don't see my videos because I don't want them to see my videos. I still to this day get teased for my YouTube channel. Some people don't know if I still make YouTube videos. They keep asking, but I'm just not willing to tell them that I'm still doing YouTube. If they find my channel, I'm completely fine with it because I don't think I'm posting anything embarrassing anymore. I'm just trying to study and motivate others. But then I quit vlogging. I was like, I am not going to vlog anymore. I'm going to make good content instead of showing my daily life. I want to do something actually interesting in which people are actually interested. And it's just not all about me, you know. Sometimes people don't want to learn about you. Then another trend came by which was study with me vlogs. I made those videos and you guys seem to really like them. I have privated a lot of my old videos but if you want you can go back and look at these videos and see what I'm talking about. I'm not embarrassed anymore. I am a little embarrassed but I'm not going to be embarrassed anymore because you know this is the journey. This is how you learn. You learn from your mistakes and this is a great example of learning from your mistakes. Now I love my editing, the way I make my thumbnails, the way I'm posting my videos, the way you guys are loving my videos. Everyone loves my videos. We are interacting in the comments a lot. So if you want, you can share your YouTube journey stories down below. In the comments, I am willing to read them. But I just want to thank you guys for almost 450 subscribers. This is actually insane. Touch wood, I really don't want to jinx it. But I was not expecting this. And you can wait for more study videos. I'm not quitting those. But I do want to make more story time. So comment down below what story time would you like to see and thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye